You look at the really rich people, they sell products. Mm-hmm. You were you were talking about that cop tip for when, you know, like a natural part of everything, you send people death threats online and then you need to cover your ass. Of course. I'm also interested because you've given some some mind blowing, I'll say, financial advice over the years in regard to maxing out as many credit cards as those foolish companies will give you in order to buy crypto and then never ever pay your credit cards back. Can you explain that theory and how it's working for you? Well, (laughs) it's working beautifully and I'm I'm continuing to cred max right now. Listen, I would be... Are you cred maxing still? If I if I hadn't cred maxed back in the day and gotten my bag of of magic coins, I would be dead right now because I would have killed myself. Okay, so yeah. that's how that's that's my financial uh, <laughs> my financial independence. The ticket to my the ticket to my financial independence was a magical little card that said Barclays on it, and another magical little card that said Capital One on it, and another magical little card that said Mastercard on it. Like that's that's how I fucking. Uh, but look, the um, if you if you know of an uh, of an asset or a play or something that's going to go up in value, mad, why not? take out a bunch of credit card debt to finance it. Um, that's only mm. if you know of something that's going to go up that's going to beat uh, you know, 20, your 25% APR or whatever. So it's, it's mm. case specific. Oh, you're going to pay them back? Case specific. I have been because I want to buy a house. But uh, there's really, if you're not going to buy a house, there's not really any reason to pay back debt. You can just that was it. always the thing. Because I was yeah. like, yeah, it makes sense that he cred maxed and bought <laughs> a bunch of Bitcoin cheap. And then, but your like advice is always like, and your credit score, fuck your credit score. And I'm like, well, what if you ever want a home or, well, most, or anything like that? You pay it cash for the home. Unless you're making ten your grand a day game. on on fucking cameo, you're not gonna have the capital. Most right. people have no hope of ever buying a home, and for for That's most true, people, for most people, would probably be a retarded decision anyway, because you're you buy a home and you're the value, your wealth that you're trying to preserve in this investment vehicle is getting sucked away by property tax and, uh, you know, maintenance costs, whatever else. I don't, I don't know if, I'm not, uh, I'm not sure buying a home is a good idea from an investment standpoint. I just want to do it because I need a place to put my vehicles. Um, but it's typically one of the greatest wealth builders in any family. The real estate market's just about to fucking implode. Just, just, I'm, just, it's just about I don't know, to fucking I, implode. I don't disagree with you. I'm just saying I don't know anything about it. Like the last not. time the real estate market imploded, prices barely went down. They just sold more slowly, and then they went back up, and then they went higher. Like is that okay. true? But when, yeah, then, like, like the cost even, of a house went to like 400 grand. Now it's there's some markets like Florida swampland in Las Vegas where perhaps it did go down, but the bulk of the country, your four hundred thousand dollar house dropped to like three hundred and ninety, sold more slowly, and now it's at six hundred. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know with inflation and 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 then the rake hikes and everything, it it is really difficult for someone to to, to get into a house for the first time. The the, the system does seem to be uh, set up to keep them out. Good and, gosh, you're right. <sighs> I mean, you want to keep them out if you're a landlord, and I, I see that like movement on Reddit. I was really confused by it at first, like the hate for landlords, because okay. like I've never had any like love for any of my landlords. I was never like, oh yeah. Realty investment company, six million. I love them. It's not that. It's just like, but I mean, they own this fucking place, and for a reasonable amount of money, they let me fucking stay here. And like, my rent was late that time, and they they just like nudged me. They weren't shitty about it, so like, <clears throat> got no problem with them. I didn't understand the hate for. I don't them, hate I, everyone else. I buy goods and services from. Yeah, no, I feel, I feel like we've come to an agreement about what this is worth, and and, and we got a good thing going. So like, I, and I still don't understand the hate for landlords as much as I understand. It's it should be a hate for the system. That like you can't fault the landlords any more than you can say fault a billionaire billionaire for not just paying more tax. Like you know he's just following the tax code. Here's my new billionaire billionaire frustration. Mm. <laughs> Whenever I hear a billionaire talk about how frugal he is, I think suck <laughs> my Buffett dick, along. you absolute asshole. Yeah, I, Warren Buffett today on Reddit was like, I spent three dollars and twenty five cents for breakfast on a he day. He gave all of his money away today. You know that, right? To charity. Did he really? Like. The vast majority, like 95% I or I saw something. it in a tweet. But my question is, but did he really? I don't know. He's always... I'll tell you what. Since Bill Gates gave all his money away to that charity, his net worth is like quintupled. 
right? Like it hasn't gone down one bit. It hasn't gone down once yeah. any particular year. Bill Gates just gets wealthier year after year after year. And he's still like the greatest philanthropist ever. I'm half wondering if these charities that they set up are some sort of tax avoidance scam thing. They obviously are. <laughs> I, I just can't prove it, but I have my suspicion and it's PKA and I don't need any like proof. Like the Bird whatsoever. Foundation. But I, I've heard... Uh, um, Elon Musk lives in some inexpensive home. What and, a dick. Uh, I doubt yeah, that. I want Elon Musk. Elon Musk should build $20 mansions and then shoot missiles at them and build more. Just fucking pump some money into the economy. I don't care. I think that's I, what billionaires he, who don't live big, lavish lives, yes. like, we know what you're doing. We know you're faking. We know you're trying to be endearing to us commoners, us peons. Like, fuck off. We know. We know you're drinking, you know, champagne and having caviar behind the scenes just because you had just because you pretended to eat a bite of the commoner's Big Mac once. I just don't know, you know why anybody cares. I want like, you to like, be. I want him to buy Kyle's used socks for seventy five thousand dollars for the left and seventy five thousand dollars for the right. Just piss money away. <clears throat> and then Kyle will take his one fifty and do something awesome with it. I, I don't I, I don't care. I'd waste it. I'd, That's I'd fine. Buy, then the I'd, guy who you wasted on <laughs> will do cool shit with it. I buy, I, I buy a full Sorenex fucking Olympic style gymnasium that I that I put in my. I'd knock I walls that out. Idea. To get it all That's in. a yeah, good ass idea. I, I have that idea. giant power rack with the fucking stacks on either side, the three hundred pound stacks. Mm -hmm. oh, we get so fucking. Yeah, strong. if I were a billionaire, get a I'd get squat what, and never use it. I'd have whatever the nicest functional trainer available was, and I'd have it in every room in the house. I'd buy so many vapes. These are twenty five a pop. <laughs> 